bridges. Here we have the bridger. This is a lovely, lovely, beautiful shoe. As you can see, it's lovely and shiny. The burgundy is probably a little bit hard, or the ox blood. It's a real dark burgundy. I'm going to try and see if I can get the camera to pick up the deep colour. It's not a black. Um, in some of the pictures, you know, unless you've got a particularly vi vi vibrant screen, you're going to struggle to see, but it's not black by a long shot. What I really liked about these, as you can see, it's, it's quite nicely round there. It's not pointed like an English one. What I also found lovely about these, when I put them on, let me see if I can show you that, it made my foot feel smaller, meaning when I wear like a loke or, um, you know, a, a typical English one like you might get in next or something, they're quite pointed so it feels like this bit comes out more this doesn't this feels shorter you feel more tidy in it uh, it's one way to put it it's got a lovely leather sole as you can look lovely um, dark brown leather sole and on the back here again it's got the rubber so if you're a dancer like me these are excellent because you can spin on them but you can spin on the front but the back holds you um, not much sure what else to say except I've worn a pair out so let me just find mine down here these are the ones I've been wearing to a couple of do's recently. They've creased nicely across here like you'd expect. Again, they've swollen here. They've not been too tough. Um, first wear out, I wore them to Jelly Roll where they were a good shoe. Again, good to dance in, which is what I like to do. I could slide around and do all the things I wanted to do. So, let me just put that down. That's, let me get a nice angle on that. Oh, let's try there. That's the bridger.